This puzzle is called All Your Your goal is to put all the pieces inside the tray. It was designed by a Japanese designer, Yuasaka. Four sticks fit amazingly well into the tray, but then you only have three spaces for the solos. Some pieces have only one in-cut in the outside and some have two circular in-cuts. We can actually put this piece in the outside. Fit three circles here like this. Put the two circles inside the tray, but then we have one circle that just doesn't go into the tray. This is where this puzzle is super brilliant. Instead of putting the pieces like this, you will want to put them like this. The pieces actually go together in a really pretty way if you put them together like this. You can actually fit these two pieces. The two circles inside are perfect. Put this last stick the circles inside and in a very evil way the last circles actually go into the square spaces on the sides and the puzzle is solved this is not the normal hamburger it's actually a puzzle box made and designed by Akio Kamei from the Japanese Karakuri creation group your goal is to find a hidden compartment inside the hamburger you can see it's wholly made of wood there's a sauce there's bread a tomato and a hamburger all of them made of wood this is insane super hard to find actually this puzzle is super rare nowadays it's from the 90s and to solve this puzzle you need to first remove the sauce then you can spin the bread and then you will see that the tomato is locked to unlock the tomato you'll need to turn it upside down while spinning the bread then you can see that i removed the lock and I can now spin the tomato and solve the puzzle. This puzzle is called the black square puzzle and your goal is to fit all the pieces inside the tray, including the black square. Now, looking at the blank spaces in the tray, you can understand that the space left in the end is more than the space needed for the square to fit. Now, you start by taking all the pieces out and trying to find a way to arrange them correctly. You can put them in any way you'd like, but Unless you find a trick, you will not be able to solve the puzzle. You can put it like this, like that, in the weirdest ways you can think about, but that won't solve you the puzzle. So how to solve it? There's actually a very nice and ingenious trick. I think you'll actually very like it because it's super neat. Check this out. So arranging the pieces like this, you have exactly the space for a square in the middle and the puzzle is solved. The goal of this beautiful brass puzzle is to completely open the lid of the flask. You can see a hole in the bottom, a screw the lid and the body of the flask. If you pull it a little bit, you can see two weird cylinders. If it's inside, you can spin all the way. If it's outside, you can spin it around half. The way this puzzle works is that there's a maze inside with a spring pin. And there's three levels to pass. Let's pass the first one. We've passed further than before. One of the cylinders can be actually removed. The last move is the trickiest. Now you can remove the second cylinder. This is where you actually need the hole on the bottom. If you put the short cylinder first, it only goes till here. Put the large cylinder first, it goes all the way inside. Then you can put the small cylinder, and as you can see, there's a small button. What you actually need to do here is to push the cylinder inside until you feel a lot of resistance. Push the button and pull the cylinder. The puzzle is solved. And now when the puzzle is open, you can see the steps. One, two, and third steps in front of your eyes. Here's an example of a puzzle that doesn't look crazy difficult, but is actually crazy difficult. It's called Sim Salabim, and the goal is to arrange the three pieces into a symmetrical shape. You will find yourself trying all kinds of shapes. This, for example, won't do. It's not symmetrical. And try to fit it like so. And this looks symmetrical, but it isn't. And you can try to arrange this in any way you'd like. The pieces are quite simple. You can see that this one is constructed of five squares. This one is six squares. This one is five squares. Because this one has six squares, you would think maybe this will be in the middle and try to maybe use it like so but still that won't help you solve the puzzle. Solving this puzzle actually took me more than one hour and this is how you solve it. You put these two pieces like this and then after putting this piece, you have an L shape. This still doesn't solve the puzzle, but what if I flip this piece? This is one of the most brilliant packing puzzles in the world. It's called Casino and your goal is to fit the six circle pieces inside the box. You can see that the pieces are all identical. The box has two restrictions. You can try to fit everything inside 
but you will almost always be left with at least one piece. The first thing to do when you solve this puzzle is to understand how it will all fit together inside. And the only way to fit them all together inside is this structure. But knowing this is only 10% of the solution because once you try to implement this, you will see that fitting the last two pieces is actually not as easy as it looks. So what you can do is to move this here and then you can fit another piece, but then you won't be able to put the last piece. And here comes one of the most genius sequences you'll ever see in a packing puzzle. You have to remove this. When you have four pieces inside, you have to take this circle and slide it on top of the circle on the right. You put one piece right here, you move it to the right and you slide these two up and then you can finally put the last piece inside. This super heavy puzzle is called the Venn puzzle. It's fully made of aluminum and for its size it weighs a lot. Now the goal of this puzzle is to take apart the three identical pieces and then get them all back together. And check this beautiful motion when it falls apart. You can see that the pieces are identical and actually to bring this puzzle back together what you need to do is to insert all the pieces at the same time from a very specific position. To do this you will need a lot of dexterity as the pieces are very heavy. And check this super satisfying motion the puzzle does when you solve it. This is the red circle puzzle. Your goal is to fit all the pieces inside the tray including the red circle. You will try to put the pieces in such a way that maximizes the space used by each piece and you will try to fit them as closely as you can together to make space for the circle. But this is actually a thought trap because you will try to put the pieces around the circle but actually what you need to do is to realize that the best way to fit the pieces inside is actually to use the circle in cuts in the corners. This way you maximize the space used with each piece and in the end you can fit the circle inside a square space in the middle. This is the simplistic aluminum cylinder puzzle. Your goal is to open the lid, you will see a V sign, a signature and one hole on the bottom. You can also see that the lid is springed. If you push on the lid and then you shake it, you can hear something inside and those are ball bearings. Now, these ball bearings actually make it impossible to open the cylinder. However, you can get to a position where ball bearings start to do strange things. An example, one ball bearing actually fell to the bottom. And if you paid attention how you did it, you can actually do it again and again. But all of this is possible only if you spin the lid so the V sign and the signature are on the opposite side. When all the ball bearings are in the bottom, you can actually pull the lid open. This here is one of the weirdest jigsaw puzzles in the world. It's called Jigsaw 19 by the Japanese puzzle designer Yu Asaka. And your goal is to fit all the pieces inside the tray. The problem is that all the pieces are actually corners. And from a first glance, this doesn't look like the pieces are unusual. They all look very normal. There's actually a method to do it and you will notice that the pieces will go in certain groups, just like this. Notice how unusual this group of four pieces looks. And check how this piece will fit inside. Pretty crazy if you ask me. And check this out too. Bam. And then we have another group. Now this is the weirdest one. And boom. And then you have only two pieces left to insert inside and what you can do is to combine them like this and insert them into the remaining space and the puzzle is solved.